Hi, it's Darlene. Welcome to this week's card. I did a pretty clean and simple card for you this week. Um, start off with mostly white paper and I'm using the new Papillon Potpourri set by Stampin' Up! which I love. I know I just used it a couple weeks ago, but um, it's just so pretty. So I'm using a different butterfly than I did last time and I'm stamping it with Versamark ink onto white Stampin' Up! paper and I'm going to use some white embossing powder. Okay, I'm going to use an aqua painter and some ink and I'm going to use the ink of the lid and um, I'm going to do it pretty fast because I want it to be dark in the middle so I'm going to start in the middle every single time and then I'm going to brush outward so that it gets lighter as I go out and then I'm going to go back in and add a couple of darker spots in the middle. So I'm going to do the same thing with the other color. So notice I try to make it um, lighter as I get outer toward the outer wing of the butterfly. These colors are Melon Mambo and Not Quite Navy, which is my favorite blue. And because I'm going to punch these out, you know, I'm not too worried about the edge of the butterfly. So I'm going to let that dry. And I'm going to take my Stampin' Up! scoreboard. And there's so many different score lines on this, so I love it. So I'm going to score these five and a half by one and a quarter inch pieces every quarter inch. I'm going to do both of those pieces every quarter inch. This new set I love. I just love this. It's the little bitty banners and the the, uh, the framelits that match and I'm using some Stampin' Up! black ink and I didn't like the way that stamped so I stamped it again. And then um, all the stamps in that set match up with one of these dies. So I'm going to hold it in place with some Eclipse masking tape and run it through my Big Shot. I'm taking a paper piercer just because it's something round and I'm um, rounding the edges up and the middle forward. And that way it kind of looks a little wavy like a flag. These pieces are five and a half by one eighth of an inch so they're pretty thin. I'm just going to use a two-way glue pen which I use for most things. That's kind of my go-to glue. And I'm going to glue them to the top and the bottom of the card. little bit of excess. I just trim that off from the other side. And then I'm going to take those two scored pieces. Get the dog hair off first. <laughs> and then I'm going to lay them down there. And after I did this I realized that I probably should have made my uh, drawn lines first so I kind of pulled it off a little bit. And instead of doing a freehand I did a ruler so I just lined it up so it would be nice and straight because I really wanted this uh, card to be pretty clean. So I'm just uh, drawing in the middle because it's going to be covered up by those white pieces. And I just put the other piece on the bottom there. And then I'm going to draw just another line at the top and at the bottom of that hole that's left after I put all those pieces on. Uh, again, the two-way glue pen and I just um, glued the pieces that were kind of going to lay flat um, and I just marked the middle there so I knew where to put it. And this glue ho holds really well. Okay and here's the matching punch and um, just line it up and punch it out easy. Then I wanted to get some definition on the edges of those butterflies so I just took a finger sponge dauber and I inked the edges with black. I'm going to do that with all three butterflies. So I'm going to take, I, I already started a piece of vellum so for my stamp -a jig and I'm marking where the antenna needs to go for each of these butterflies with a pencil. And then I'm going to use my stamp -a jig since I have a wood mounted stamp and I'm just going to line it up and stamp it down. I'm going to do that three times for each butterfly. And then finally I'm going to adhere my butterfly 
my butterflies um, with some mini glue dots so you just kind of bend the middle a little bit and then you um, kind of press it against the glue dot and it'll stick to your butterfly and then you stick it right down on the paper and then the wings can fly up. And that's it. Pretty simple, pretty quick. So hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.